Stacy was not the one who donated the stem cells that saved Shane. What? What in the hell are you talking about? All right, I, I know it sounds crazy. Yeah, it does. It makes zero sense. Just give me a sec. It me was a second, done okay? in a hospital. Dr. Michael McBain watched over the whole thing. Okay, I trust him. My son had that stem cell transplant right down the hall from where Stacy donated. I, yeah, I know, right. But I'm thinking after the stem cells were extracted, Stacy switched them with somebody else's. A bag of blood. Who hangs on to something like that? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a high school science teacher. I don't think it's that much of a stretch. Look, just, just hear me out for a oh, second. Oh, you know okay. what? I have, and I think you're nuts. Thanks. All right, fine. You know what? Whatever. Think whatever you want about me. I came here because I thought you should know. And because I tried confronting Stacy already. I'm sure that went over well. Yeah, she kind of had the same reaction you did when I told her I kept the blood. I bet. And she denied it, up and down, you know, that she did anything wrong. And then she tried to turn it around on me because, you know, that's what Stacy does. And then she told Rex, put a nice little spin on that. And now Rex thinks I'm some ex-boyfriend turned stalker, which is great. You say you're not? Look, Gigi, I don't have a grudge against your sister, okay? Yes, I, I was in love with her, but that was a long time ago. And, yeah, I, I did want to get back together but that was before I realized that the girl I fell in love with is capable of, of terrible terrible things prove to me you're not making all this up okay okay well I, I had the blood tested at the lab you could look at the results I would show you show me what if if it matches Stacy right and not Shane then Stacy's not the donor she didn't save Shane's life that can't be true can it? Okay, okay, wait. So, so Stacy might not be the donor? Right, because why else would she ditch a bag of stem cells that would save him? What do you think happened? Uh, I, I think, I think she made a deal. I think she made a deal just like she did with you. Oh my God. Skylar, if you're right, do you have any idea what that would mean? You saw my sister throw away her stem cell donor bag. Yes. Go on. Okay. It was right after the procedure. It was the day that I met you. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, anyway, did Stacy know that you saw her throw away her bag? Yeah. Yeah. I, I called her out on it. I asked her what it was. And? And she, well, at first she told me it was like a used tissue. And? Um, and I told her I didn't buy it, and she tried to talk her way out of it, and she left the room, and I looked for her used tissue, and it was a, it was a bag of blood. Did you tell her you found it? She said it was extra. Extra what? Extra weird? Why would any hospital let someone just throw away their donated that's, blood into the garbage? See, that's, that's exactly, that's what I'm saying. That's why I think something was off. Well, what did you do with it? The bag of blood? I kept it. No way. How the hell did you get out of the can? I'm calling the cops. Maybe I'll get a reward. Phone down, Roxy. I'm out on bail. And you think you got the right to come to my hotel? Yeah. We have a deal. That was then. And this is now. Okay, give me a free room and I won't tell anybody about you stealing blood from me. Hey, your... just drop it. I did what I did for my kids' kids, so just drop it already. Yeah, I know. You're a saint. Yeah, and you're an extortioner and a blackmailist. Well, after what you and your hot little friend Stacy are pulling on your precious little boy Rex, maybe I'm the saint. A bag of blood. Who hangs on to something like that? Well... I'm, I'm a high school science teacher. I don't think it's that much of a stretch. Look, just, just hear me out for a oh, second. Oh, you know okay. what? I have, and I think you're nuts. Thanks. All right, fine. You know what? Whatever. Think whatever you want about me. I came here because I thought you should know. And because I tried confronting Stacy already. I'm sure that went over well. Yeah, she kind of had the same reaction you did when I told her I kept the blood. I bet. And she denied it, up and down, you know, that she did anything wrong. And then she tried to turn it around on me because, you know, that's what Stacy does. And then she told Rex, put a nice little spin on that. And now Rex thinks I'm some ex-boyfriend turned stalker, which is great. You say you're not? Look, Gigi, I don't have a grudge against your sister, okay? Yes, I, I was in love with her, but that was a long time ago. And, yeah, I, I did 
want to get back together. But that was before I realized that the girl I fell in love with is capable of, of terrible, terrible things. Prove to me you're not making all this up. Okay, okay. Well, I, I had the blood tested at the lab. If you could look at the results, I would show you. Show me what? If, if it matches Stacy, right, and not Shane, then Stacy's not the donor. She didn't save Shane's life. That can't be true. Can it? Okay, okay, wait. So, so Stacy might not be the donor? Right, because why else would she ditch a bag of stem cells that would save him? What do you think happened? Uh, I, I think, I think she made a deal. I think she made a deal just like she did with you. Oh my God. Skylar, if you're right, do you have any idea what that would mean? Oh my God. Oh my God. You're kind of freaking me out here. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> so St Stacy might not be the donor? For real? If this is true, then I don't have to lie to Rex anymore. Yeah. Can't imagine what she's put you through at this point. Nobody can. Nobody can. Rex, he's, he's the love of my life. Yeah, I don't mean to, like, blame the victim here, but how come you didn't just bust Stacy right after the procedure? I have no idea what that means. Yeah, I... I used to play it fast and loose with the church. Uh, horror movies on Good Fridays, confession like every five years, and then all of a sudden they tell me that my ten-year-old son might die. And so I got me a whole new attitude. I made a promise to God. I said I'd do anything. And I thought that if I went back on that, that it would be Shane who paid. But he's responding to the treatment, right? Well, a couple of times it seemed like he was rejecting the transplant. <laughs> Oh, and that was around the time that you were thinking about blowing the whistle on Stacy. Yeah, to tell you the truth, I'm always thinking about blowing the whistle on her. But, wow, if my, if my whole promise to God is based on all of Stacy's lies, then, then I can whistle blow from the top of the tallest building in Lambview, and God is going to be just fine with that. And Rex, I can tell Rex the truth. I can, I can tell Rex the truth about everything. Uh, w what are you, what are you doing? What do you think? I'm calling Rex. I don't have the money. None of it? Then just shut up and listen. If you're not down here with my money by the time I'm arraigned, then your little friend Rex is going to find out you didn't really save his son. Stacy, what happened to the money? It, it was stolen. What? You want money? I want a key. Okay, you're stuck with me until I find another place to live, which I promise you is anywhere but here. Look, Roxy, my sister died in Oh, you want sympathy? She helped that nut Powell Lord murder a lot of people. They almost killed another bunch yeah, of... Yeah, I don't know anything about... Yeah, right, a likely story. Okay, Rebecca and I weren't close, but she's dead. Okay. Police have been grilling me for hours. All I want to do is go upstairs, take a shower, and go to bed, and not talk about this anymore with anyone, including you. I shouldn't have asked you to help me. Yeah, and I shouldn't have said yes, but I did, and we're both stuck together here, right? Last thing I need is for somebody to link me with the crazy blood donor switch. The donor is dead. And so is the topic. Okay, just drop it. Someday, huh? Yeah, I know I'm beat. I was, but now I got all kinds of energy. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll pick you up in the morning. We'll go to the lab, okay? Okay, sounds like a plan. Wait, so if, if Stacy wasn't the donor, then who was? I don't know. I mean, that's a big question. I think we should, like, take this one step at a time. Okay. mess was over, Mars. You know, when the nurse called me and told me that you know who was dead. But I'm beginning to wonder, when is this thing gonna end? <laughs>